Stage 11, the wine stage from Umbria into Tuscany. 162 kilometers from Perugia to Montalcino and 35 kilometers of them ridden on the famous gravel roads of the Strada Bianchi. A little bit of a scare for Filippo Ganna as Ineos put pressure on the whole race on the first of the four sectors and split the race apart. Gianni Moscon then piloting the Maglia Rosa and putting Remco Evenepoel under pressure. He was dropped off the back, uncertain on how to ride this unfamiliar road and almost out of the race entirely. Meanwhile, at the front, an 11-man breakaway had the race and had a huge advantage, but that too started to splinter. Jao Almeida tried to rescue Remco Evenepoel. In the final then, Egan Bernal, reacting to Alexander Vlasov's acceleration, rode off in search of Emmanuel Buchmann. The final couple of hundred metres, though, two riders from the breakaway were going to contest victory, Alessandro Covey and Mauro Schmidt from Quebec Assos. Those two riders up a steep ramp, a 200-metre climb to the line of 10%. It was the Swiss rider making his Grand Tour debut in his Neo-Pro season, just 21 years of age. Mauro Schmidt announcing himself at the Giro in the best possible way. Meanwhile, a couple of minutes further back down the road, Egan Ben Allen and Emmanuel Buchmann emerged from the chaos of the race, the best by far of the general classification riders. And in the end, Egan Ben Allen just rode away from Emmanuel Buchmann in the Malia Rosa to make fast gains in the general classification and to throw it all upside down. Battling on, though, to the line, piloted home by Jao Almeida. Remco Evenepoel knew that he was in a battle to limit his losses, hurtling down the general classification standings at the end of the day, but still just about in the race. Maro Schmidt taking the stage and writing his name into Giro history, a 21-year-old Swiss rider at the very top of stage 11. Maro, congratulations. You are a neo-professional. You have won not only a stage of the Giro, but a very big stage of the Giro. Do you realize it? Uh, actually, I can't believe it because uh, like, I only came into the Giro team uh, about two weeks before it started. Um, yeah, my preparation was quite good, but uh, I was never, uh, at the beginning of the season, I was never thinking about doing a Grand Tour. And uh, to be honest, in the last 10 days, I suffered so much. I was... Uh, I nearly couldn't follow sometimes, but uh, today I uh, I knew I want to go into the break because I love uh, I love Strade Bianche I love the the gravel roads and uh, I tried and yeah when I was in the, in the break I felt I had great legs today I recovered very well uh, yesterday on the rest day and uh, yeah I went for it and yeah. Take us through the last uh, fight you had with Alessandro Kofi to make the win. Uh, I, I knew he was really strong. Um, he nearly dropped me on the climb, but I knew I just need to stay on his wheel. Um, and uh, I didn't think about the guys behind. Uh, I had no idea if they are close, if they are far. I, I knew uh, I tried to... I don't really pull anymore. I wait for the sprint and uh, try my best. Um, yeah, when I saw the finish line, I, I didn't felt my legs anymore. Uh, I just went for the for the line. That's well done. What was uh, must do of Deutsch about this in historic zigzagen? I I can it fast nicht glauben. Uh, für mich es war ein super Tag. Um, meine Teamkollegen haben mich uh, heute extrem gut uh, unterstützt. Uh, mit Bertjan waren wir zusammen in der Gruppe und um, er hat für mich uh, nochmal eine gute um, Führung geleistet auf dem zweiten Sektor. Und dann wusste ich, ich bin auf mich gestellt und uh, ja, probiere es jetzt, <lacht> gebe mein Bestes. Sehr gut, danke schön.